it's never been about the price tag. It's about what we want to deliver. We don't look at this as a number. We look at this as what programs are we going to deliver. This piece of legislation costs zero. The president was very clear on Friday that he doesn't want to talk numbers. He wants to talk programs. We're not making this up. They said it right there. Democrats deflecting from the hefty price tag of President Biden's tax and spending plan, insisting Americans will not have to pay. Joining me now to break it down, who better than the host of Varney and Company and American Built on Fox Business, the GOAT, meaning you're the greatest of all time, not a barnyard animal, Stuart Varney. Uh, Good Stuart, morning. great to see you as always. Thank you for being here. If this type of accounting was used in corporate America, everyone would go to jail. Why do Democrats think this is appropriate? It would be appropriately called financial fraud. Fraud. What the Democrats are doing is trying to stick us with entitlement programs, just get them on the books, and you get them on the books by lowering the price tag and lowering the length of time that you're going to fund these programs for. So, for example, if you want a program that serves people with uh, free pre-K, for example, and it's a trillion dollars over 10 years, ah, you don't need that. No, you say you want that program, but only for, say, four years. So it's only 400 billion. So if you cut the price tag by cutting the length of time, you can get those programs in place because they'll conform to Joe Manchin's demands, you get the programs in place somehow or other, and they never, ever go away. When they're supposed to sunset in four or five years' time, you say, whoa, we've got to have these things. People need these things. Got to keep them going. So they keep them going, and they're there forever. It's a kind of financial fraud because we're being stuck with entitlement programs we cannot afford and which will break the bank in the long term. And you fled a socialist country. You know I how did. bad this could be for Americans long term. Speaking of bad, supply chain is an absolute disaster right now. We're going to pop up on the screen just a few examples of the U.S. supply chain really lagging. Look at this. In Los Angeles, those 62 ships anchored off of L.A. and the Long Beach ports. That is an amazing visual. Wait times up to four weeks there in New York. And then you have the problem in Chicago with trains backed up. It is an absolute disaster. Stuart, how much worse can this get? It can get a lot worse. It's certainly not getting any better. There's a shortage of containers in the right place at the right time. There's a shortage of truck drivers to take it from the port to wherever it's got to go. The bottom line is it's, it's inflationary because when you've got a shortage of goods and demand is strong, the price goes up. You're already seeing inflation running at about a 5% rate. That could get worse as we approach Christmas. By all means, order now yeah. because there are supply chain problems and you might not get what you want come Christmas. Can Biden do anything to stop it? First question and second question, will he? No, I don't think Biden can do anything to stop it at this point. He can stop energy price inflation. He could do something about that by allowing us to use natural gas, allowing the pipelines to supply us with natural gas. But this shortage of, um, of truck drivers and space and the ports, that kind of thing, I don't think you can fix that at all. In you, the, in, certainly not in the short run. You instructed Americans to get their gifts early. Stuart, did you get me my Christmas gift yet? You didn't tell me what you wanted. Don't worry about it. You know what I want. You know I want to be on set with you at 9 a.m. today on Varney and Company. And look, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I'm going to join you. You come on my show. I'll go on your show. Stuart. Is that the deal? That is the deal. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have you here. Please come back, and my I'll pleasure. see you in about three hours. You got Thank it, you, Tom. sir, as always. Sir.